the album from Suede. Bored with the force-fed shoegaze shows of last year's London circuit, the critics did a U-turn and announced this previously unheard of UK act as the sound of the 90s. The album has had 60,000 advance orders in the UK alone and a prolonged spell at the number one spot seems a certainty. Glam pop influences from Bowie, T-Rex and the Smiths mould each perfect pop song. As Brett Anderson, the band's sexually ambiguous songsmith co-stars alongside the multi-talented guitar heroics of Bernard Butler. We was right in a very, in a very, um, quite a kind of tense way. All, all of the subjects, all of the songs are, are, are quite sort of filled with a lot of tension, whether it's kind of like sexual tension or sort of emotional tension or whatever. There's not, the, te the themes tend not to be, tend not to be that lazy. I was trying to avoid, avoid themes that have been kind of like, paths that have been trod, trod before by, by pop music, you know, because I think in the past few years, pop music, um, the lyrics of lots of songs have become quite, quite boring, really. Lots of things have just been uh, redone and redone and, and Music as a kind of like an, an, an <coughs> musical experimentation has, has has taken has taken kind of like the idea of there being any lyrical content um, away from away from the, the complete sense of music and it's very simple and it's not sort of trying to be clever and it's not some it's not we haven't got some incredible kind of master plan for for the, for the future of pop music it's actually a very natural process we we it, it's very simple we'd sit down with simple instruments and and write simple songs, and, uh, and as long as they're injected with enough intensity, then they can become, they have the right to become a suede song. A shame, really. I mean, I think one of the reasons why we've had a lot of press is just because uh, people see us as, as not being like the, the sort of dull T-shirt bands that came before us last year. So, I mean, we're not a reaction to them. It's not a deliberate attempt to, uh, to supplant them. But, I mean, the things about us that I think that people been interested in just the fact that it's, it's sort of music from the heart again real music music that just comes straight from sort of four individuals without sort of checking the record collections first to see whether it's cool or not without you know without seeing whether they've got the right influences or anything it's just a very natural organic band very unfashionable terms but it's really sort of what we're about was when he's working with Stephen Street I think that's the best stuff he did stuff like We'll Never Marry and uh, Swayed Head and all those sort of things. I think he lost it a bit after that. Ouija Board, Ouija Board was a lot of the point of his downfall. Yeah, it was okay, but he's not really a force anymore. Become a bit too intellectual, I think, about music. Measure your own success by, by your own standards. Um, when. Or, or, before you have any success, all you can measure, all you can measure, uh, all you can measure your own success is by, is by a, a very kind of like small kind of like part of your mind, which you think you're sort of desperately fighting with different parts of your mind, thinking, oh, is this good or is it not good or is it, is it, you know, what, how does it compare to Chapter House or something like that? But when you're given, when you, when you're given a platform from which to speak, you can, you can start dictating the terms. And that's that's a brilliant thing about getting press and being successful is that you can actually start start making people learn to love you kind of thing. 